If you box like this with your weight on your front foot, you can have lots of success in boxing. Now you might be thinking, what? Are you for real having your weight on your front foot? No one teaches this. Everyone teaches with your weight on your back foot like this. Well, I'm going to tell you something different. I'm going to tell you exactly why you should have your weight on your front foot and the benefits of doing this because there's so many. And guess what? No one teaches this. And I'll tell you why they don't teach it as well. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic medalist boxer, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European gold medalist. And on this YouTube channel, I give you everything boxing. How to punch harder, how to punch faster. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notifications for more videos like this. Now let's get straight into it. Front foot like this? This is, sounds crazy. Why would you do that? Because from this position, you can't really throw punches. Well, you can, and I'm going to show you exactly how you do that. And I got this method from one of, if not the greatest amateur boxer that Great Britain has ever produced, Frankie Gavin, who was an amateur world champion. He was an amazing fighter, and he used to do this all the time. Wait on the front foot. And actually, before I shot this video, I've just had a conversation all about this method and why he did it, and also why the likes of Joe Calzaghe did it. Penel Whitaker did it. Uh, Canelo Alvarez even does it as well. But before I talk about the weight on the front foot, let's talk about the method with the weight on the back foot that everyone teaches. This method here, which is a solid method. And if you think, if I'm here, I'm further away from the opponent. So he's got to commit to, th to throw them punches. And from here as well, I can really rotate from the weight from the back foot to the front foot to get more power in the punch. So I can punch hard from this position. <laughs> like that because the weight's here. But, you know, I was never a big fan of having the weight on the back foot. I used to keep it more like here, 50-50 with the weight on either foot, keeping that good solid balance. So now, weight on the front foot. Why would you want to do this? Because you'd probably be thinking, you're a lot closer to your opponent, and from here you can't rotate your hips, and them's both correct. Being closer to your opponent is the reason why we're doing this. So, we giving him the confidence to throw a punch because what we're going to do, we're going to counter that. And when Frankie Gavin was doing this, he would be here like this, drawn that lead off his opponent so he could do a few things. One thing, step back and then come in with his counter punches or he would be here waiting for that lead to come. He knows that they're going to throw that lead because he's in range and the opponent will be silly not to throw that lead. So from here, whoosh, he would slip and come over with his own punch. And as well, the pushback. If my weight's on me front foot here, within a split second, I can go from here to here. I can push back much faster. Whereas if I'm here on the back foot, if someone throws two or three punches, yeah, I can cover up and then take the punches here. But why do we want to take punches here? If you're taking punches here, you're still taking damage, you're still taking punishment. But if I'm moving out of the way, you know, the, he's throwing fresh air and I'm taking zero damage. And the best defense in boxing, no matter what anyone says, is moving your feet. So by having the weight on the front foot, I can get out of the way of the punches faster and then fly straight back in. As soon as that back foot lands, boom, boom with punches of me own. And it looks like this. Yeah. Also what you can do when you're in this position is drop your hands because you're waiting for that punch. And as soon as you see that punch, whoom, you can get out of the way. Now you might be thinking, How, drop your hands, wait on your front foot. Tony, have you gone mad? Well, I'm telling you, give this a try and you'll surprise yourself. When you know someone is going to throw a punch, guess what? It's way less likely that they're going to land that punch. So try it. Hands down here when the punch comes. Whoop, step back, push off with your feet fast and you can come back in with the counter punches of your own. But to do this, you do need to have fast reactions. You do need to have good counter punching and you do need to have great footwork. That's why I created this video here where you should click now and watch this ladder drill video where I tell you how to improve your feet so you can do all of this stuff even better. Click here and watch this video next.